Hello again, it's Izzy here. In this video, I'm going to share with you a workflow tip that can appear to magically multiply the number of 3D titles that you have readily available to you in Final Cut Pro. And before I share with you the solution, I wanna go over the problem first. And so let's start with a little background. Let's go to Final Cut Pro and then About Final Cut Pro, and I'll show you my version that I'm using for this video is 10.2.1. And I show you that because starting with 10.2, Final Cut Pro came with some nice 3D capabilities for text, for titles. And one of the things that it came with is a bunch of presets. I'm gonna close this down and let's go to the titles browser and then the 3D category here. And you can see that in the 3D category, Final Cut Pro comes with eight different items. Here is what they look like. You can see they have different animations. For example, if I kind of move my skimmer over this basic 3D, I'll just select it here. And then if I move the skimmer over the beginning and hit the space bar, then it'll play through it. But by the way, there's a nice keyboard shortcut. When you're going through and previewing these different animations, a nice keyboard shortcut is play in to out, the forward slash, play in to the out point. So the in point is the beginning of the range, the out point's the end of the range. So if you hit forward slash with that selected like that, it'll just play that whole clip there and you get to see the whole preview. So that's the basic 3D and has kind of a zoom effect there as you can see, all right? So that's basic 3D and you have several different ones to choose from. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab basic 3D, I'm gonna bring it into my project like this and now if I move the playhead over it and make sure it's selected and make sure I have my inspector open and then go to the titles inspector, you can see that the animation style right now by default is set to zoom. And that's what that animation style is. It's kind of a zoom effect. But if I click this, you'll see that there's actually 10 different additional animations. And then of course the 11th one, none, where there's no animation, but 10 different animations of way of getting the text in and out of the frame. Well, the issue here is that these are buried. They're buried in the animation style pop-up menu. So for example, zoom is the default. So that's what I see down here. I see zoom, but I don't see any of the other ones when I'm previewing. And unless you have a really good memory, it's gonna be hard to know what animations are available to you. You might be able to see where I'm going with this already. And that is what I'm going to do is control click or right click on this and choose open a copy in motion. I'm going to open a copy of this basic 3D animation in motion. Let's do that. You can see here it is in motion now, and it's kind of a complex project. We don't really need to dig into the details of it, but I'm just going to go up here to the projects layer here in the layers list, make sure it's selected, then open up your inspector, choose project and then choose publishing, the publishing pane of the project inspector. And then where it says animation style, I'm going to change it to something else. Let's change it to slide right. And then I'm just gonna save it. So I'm gonna choose file, save as. I'm gonna call it basic 3D slide right. Very good, and then the category is 3D, and then I'll just click publish. Let's do this again. I'm gonna change the animation to a different version, slide left this time. So I'll go to file, save as, and then I'll choose basic 3D slide left. I'll just name it that category 3D, that's fine. And then publish. And then let's just do one more. I could do all 10 of them. In fact, this is what I would do is do all 10 of them here, but I'm just gonna show you these three. No reason we should go through all of them. So I'll choose drop in, I'll choose file, save as, basic 3D drop in. Okay, very good, category 3D and then click publish. And now I've just done those three. Once again, could do all 10, but I'm just gonna close down motion now. I'll choose motion and then quit motion. Now we're back in Final Cut Pro. Now you might need to click away and then click back to the 3D category again. But in my case, you can see that I have now this basic 3D drop in. So if I select it and hit the forward slash on the keyboard, there's basic 3D drop in. So I get to see that animation here in my titles browser. And then the same thing here, if I choose basic 3D slide left, I'll just select it and then hit the forward slash. There it is, basic 3D slide left. Okay, so that's super useful to be able to see those previews. Let's go to basic 3D slide right. I'll hit the forward slash. There it is, basic 3D slide right. Okay, so you get the idea. So when you have a number of different presets, different styles, and you wanna be able to just quickly get to them and be reminded of what the animations even look like, it can be a nice time saver if you have motion on your machine, send it to motion, save it with a new name, and then it'll be readily available to you as a preview in Final Cut Pro. By the way, not all of the different animations that come with Final Cut Pro really benefit from this, but Basic 3D definitely does with those 10 different animation styles. Also, there's one here called Rotate 3D. Let me bring that in. 
I'll bring that into the project so you can see what that looks like. I'll move the playhead over it, select it. You can see there's an animation style called swivel. That's the default. This is what it looks like. You can see it kind of swivels on. And then you also have this roll version. You can guess what that does. I'm gonna hit the space bar and there you go, it rolls on. And I could save each one of these as a separate preset so I could just very easily be reminded of what's available. I love that cascade one, see that? So it's nice, that Rotate 3D definitely benefits from this. And finally, there's one called Tumble 3D. I'll bring that into the project, move the playhead over it, select it, and you have the animation style Tumble Zoom Down. So this is Tumble Zoom Down, that's what it looks like. And then you can see when it gets to the end, it's gonna zoom down like that. Okay, so that's tumble zoom down, but you also have assemble and disassemble and tumble zoom up. So I could save those as different presets as well. You can see where you started with eight items and it can very quickly multiply to being a lot more than your original eight items. And then in my opinion, it's just nice being able to see here in the titles browser what the animation is going to look like before you decide if you're gonna apply it or not. Okay, so that is something that wasn't available to me just a minute ago, but now it is. And so I think that's a useful workflow tip. I think it's worth taking the time to do it on the front end so it's easier to find what you're looking for later. Anyway, hopefully you found the information in this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one.